Hey guys, what's up? I am back with another video. It's time to do a camera test of the all new Samsung Galaxy A17. And guys, and this is a new new mid range phone that we have from Samsung. And this one is costing around only 55,000 BKR here in the Pakistan market. So, in this price range, as you can see on the back, we have a triple cameras, we have a 50 megapixel optical MSWH main camera, also, we have 5 megapixel ultra wide, and lastly, we have a 2 megapixel macro. So, on the front, we have a 13 megapixel selfie camera inside the U shaped notch. So, let me show the camera UI of the Samsung Galaxy A17. So, guys, here is the camera UI looks like. So, here is your normal, and here is your ultra wide, and here is the portrait mode, which is not available with the 2x. So, here is the video mode. So, the back camera maximum shoot only full HD at 30 FPS. So, not a 1440p support even. Also, instead the video mode, we don't have any ultra study mode. Also, instead the video mode, we don't have a bokeh mode. So, instead the more section and the pro mode also available. And the night mode also available, but not available with the ultra wide. So, this feature it is missing. Anyways, in the more section, macro mode also available. And the slow motion also available. So, now look at the front facing camera. So, this phone has a 13 megapixel selfie camera so here is the front facing camera looks like here is the portrait mode and here is the video mode and the front camera also shoot only full hd at 30 fps also inside the mode section and the night mode it is also available with the front facing camera and the slow motion it is actually not available with the front facing camera so as usual let me show you a lot of camera samples as well as video recording you will get a better idea regarding the camp performance of the Samsung Galaxy A17 4G. Okay guys and this is a full HD at 30 FPS video recording using the back camera of the Samsung Galaxy A17. So on the back we have a 50 megapixel OIS main camera and you can also easily switch between from normal to ultra wide. So here is the ultra wide looks like. So yes and the ultra wide it is soft even in this lighting condition. So here is the main camera and here is the 2x and here is the 1x right now i'm just walking around holding my phone with my hand now let's running and the video stabilization i would say it is really decent despite having we have optical image stabilization and also if you want to do some vlogging with the back camera so here's the back camera looks like looks like in this lighting condition Okay guys and this is a full HD at 30 FPS video recording using the using the front facing camera so on the front we have a 13 megapixel selfie camera so you can see the colors it is not really good I would say less saturated when I am in the direct sunlight now the colors it is looks more good but it is not really good the colors are actually more washed out I don't know why and the, and the sharpness it is good the dynamic range it is average below average and the colors it is not really good even so let's see the video stabilization so i'm just walking around the front we only have a 13 megapixel and the image processing it is not really good so now let's running so the video it is not really stable and you can also switch between from the front facing camera to the back camera like this and here is the 2x, is the 1x, and here is the front facing camera. So the front facing camera is much weaker as compared to the back camera.
okay guys and this is the full hd at 30 fps video recording using the back camera of the samsung a17 so here is a low light video right now i'm just walking around and i see a lot of noise in the video even even though video is not really bright as well so right now i'm just walking around holding my phone with my hand and you can also easily switch between from normal to ultra wide right here i cannot see anything but when we have some source of light the camera it's it is improved slightly better and this is the ultra wide video so ultra wide is not really worth it in this price range even in this lighting condition here is a one x looks slightly better so let's see the video situation while running so the video situation it is I would say not really good even the video it is not really sharp I see a, a lot of noise in the video so also if you want to do some vlogging with the back camera so here's the back camera looks like in this direct lighting condition and anyways let's see the autofocus the autofocus it is good or not yes the autofocus it is even working in this lighting condition but once again huge noise that I seen in the video okay guys and this is a full HD at 30 FPS video recording using the front facing camera so in the front we have a 13 megapixel selfie camera so you can see and the selfie camera i would say it is really bad not worth it in this price range so i'm just walking around and let me know overall the cameras it is really bad overall on the samsung a17 but once again you guys are judge of the camera and guys what i have to say regarding the cam performance of the samsung galaxy a17 in daylight only the photo quality i would say it is decent Otherwise, the ultra wide, even the video performance, it is not really good, and the colors, it is completely washed out in video. Even the front facing camera, it is also really weak in daylight. Also, in low light, and the photo quality with night mode, it is decent as well. But once again, the video performance, the ultra wide, and the ultra wide, it is, I would say, it is completely trash. And the video performance with the main camera in low light i would say it is not really good in video i see a lot of noise and the video it is not really sharp not really bright i i am very very disappointing to see that samsung just gave us this cameras on the samsung galaxy a17 and thank you so much for watching this camera test of the samsung galaxy a17 and do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and i will see you in my next video peace out